Hey guys, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. This is Caffeine Gaming. Uh, let's talk to some people before we do anything else here. I found some inf interesting information online the other day. Apparently there was an unexplained explosion near our school 10 years ago. At the same time, a large number of students refused to go to school. The news report stated that the incidents were somehow related. Isn't that fascinating? Yes, it is. Uh, we're not gonna find anything about more about that until later. Hey, when normal people tra transmogrify during the dark hour, why do they turn into coffins? Are they pretending to be dead? I heard that works if a bear is about to attack you. Actually, I just made that up. Alrighty then. <laughs> Has burned down, causing the neighbor's home to burn down as well. Police are investigating the possibility of arson. For our next story, a dead body was found behind Port Island Station last night. The victim seems to have been a student at the nearby high school. The police are currently searching for any evidence relating to the incident. Wow, that's freaking crazy. So if you remember last time, there was a comment about the command room console being broken. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the new recording. Oh, this is gonna be exciting, don't worry. Let's see, 6-14-2009 at, let's see, that would be 4-17 in the afternoon. Hmm? It looks like Junpei's room, but its resident is nowhere to be found. Mitsuru and Officer Kurosawa came in. This way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. What happened? I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru Senpai? <laughs> What the There's hell? Junpei. Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot. The AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. Manga cafe? Well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What, what happened? Else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Oh. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. Um. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. <laughs> How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh, well, my room always looks like this. So basically, Junpei is a mess and his room what? is a mess. And Mitsuru thought... But you can't possibly live here in this state, can you? Oh, well, she said it better than I could. A and the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Well, Junpei, your room is disgusting. Is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kirijo? Uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so... Disgraceful. Oh, Mitsuru. <laughs> oh, Junpei. I apologize for all this. It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized. Ooh. Poor Mitsuru. Mitsuru left as well. Come on. At least yell at me or something. <laughs> what the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Oh, Junpei. Many things, I'm hey, sure. Wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... worst luck. <laughs> um, he actually mentions this much earlier. Um, I'm not gonna go look it up for you guys to see which episode it was in. But he mentions that he almost got in trouble with the police. Yep, that that was it. That was the, the whole thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I thought it was hilarious. Um, and I, that is coming from a person who actually had a very messy room growing up. Uh, my mom actually was always very upset with me. Even though it was never quite as messy as my friends, um, I'm an organized mess as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but she's a little 
No, she's not a little OCD. She's actually OCD over cleaning. And our charm is finally maxed at bewitching. So there you go. But yeah, it is kind of hard to live with somebody that uh, has actual OCD when it comes to cleaning. <laughs> and I'm not talking about that in like a, I have OCD type of cleaning. No, she literally has OCD. Uh, meanwhile, at that Tsumi Port Island back alley. Oh, again. Uh huh? How the heck did I? Good evening. Wait, have we been here before? I don't think we've been here before. No, the last time we saw the dark hour, it was like in a alleyway, right? Where the guy was being eaten by a shadow. Are you surprised? Yeah, who are you? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? He's got yellow eyes. Girl in a dress. Huh. Didn't mommy teach you any He's got a white dress and red hair. Introduced yourself. Take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you, and they asked us to get revenge. Oh. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. You might as well. Professionals? Oh, shit. You mean the rumors on the net are true? <sighs> May we get this over with now? That is a gun. Hey, wait, wait. I haven't done anything. Why me? What did I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! He has a gun. I don't... Me. I don't think... Hmm. You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. I think he's dead, guys. He's not dead. Oh, he's not quite dead. Doesn't matter. Do you have horns coming out the we side of your head? Into the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Hmm. If it's dark if hour and these three else, are awake, I'm feeling rather tired. I wonder if those three have the potential. I don't know. I mean, they're awake during the dark hour, and they were managed to bring someone else. Uh, wake somebody else up, so that's kind of strange. Uh, let's see here. Have you heard of this revenge request website? Revenge request? What's that? You can write the person's name you want to get revenge on, and bam, mission accomplished. They say it's guaranteed successful and completely anonymous. Seriously? Give me the URL, quick. Well, it's just a rumor. I mean, I don't know the details. Why are you so desperate? Huh? I'm not. I'm not thinking about revenge at all. Huh. That's a little weird, but okay. Oh, hey, it's lunchtime. All right, Junpei, um, may hang out with him, not sure. Now we got some stuff to do today. All right, well, that was um, exciting to watch somebody essentially, well, we didn't actually watch him get shot. We just heard him get shot. Let's talk to these girls. A revenge website, what is it? What is that? Is it scary? I think we read this, did we read this? My friend said that the guy who disappeared from the town nearby, he might have been a victim of that revenge website. I don't remember if we read that last time. Well, anyway, we're going to go to uh, library committee today. So let's go ahead and do that. Lots of students are making use of the library today, so you and Sayori had a lot of work to do. All right, may I please see your ID? Sayori is happily doing her job and helping the students. Huh? You lost it. Um, if you don't have your ID, we can't check any books out for you. Losing your ID is pretty serious. You should go to the faculty room before you do anything else. Sayori seems to be involved with a complex situation. S sayori san A female student comes in. If you recall correctly, this is one- this is the same student who borrowed Sayori's notes the other day. Oh. Hi, uh, Higa shida san Sorry, uh, I had to stop and actually, uh, go back over my Japanese real quick there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, it's okay. It'll be quick. Um, about the notes I borrowed. My notes? Oh, right. Michi lost them. I'm sorry. I'll make sure I'll yell at her. Huh? Oh, that's fine. Well, so see you. Wow, so she just lost the notes and then she just ran off. The student who borrowed Sayori's notes and lost them takes off. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Um, so if you lost your student ID, you need to go get a copy of this from the faculty office and... Eventually, the flood of people slows to trickle and stops entirely. Phew, today was pretty rough, don't you think? Uh, you want to say, I want to, let's stay here a little longer, or say, I want to go home. Heh, we're almost done. Hang in there. Oh, right. Didn't we get homework today? I should make use of this time and get it done. Oh, wait, my notes. You can say either one here. Yeah. My physics homework would be a lot easier if I still had my notes. Well, there's no point complaining about what I don't have. Uh, you can say either one here. I'm gonna say she's terrible to you. Huh? You think so? Thanks, you're such a nice person. Wait, what? Like, you're just gonna let her- okay. Whatever. Don't lend her your notes again. I mean, that's the big thing here, right? Oh, it's almost time. Which do you want to do? Clean the counter or make sure everybody's left the library? Let's ro Rochambeau for it. Ready? Ro sham, go home. Yay! And we get to go home today, which is good. Ooh, what's going on? More cutscenes. Meanwhile, oh, like, so we're in the ramen shop today, so what are we doing Hi, here? how are you today? Just one? The customer that came in sat next to a certain young man. I'll have what he's having. Oh, Akihiko. Huh? Coming right up. One house special! How can you eat the same thing all the time without getting sick of it? Shut up. You always eat that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go, one house special. Be careful, it's hot. Yow, he wasn't kidding. I'm glad we get you to listen to people made up eat. Your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Wait, Shinjiro was part I'm of the group? Interested. Like before? Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. Oh, so My he's a power ain't worth shit. He's got a power. I'm guessing that means he's Shinji. a persona user. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> hmm. You should talk. I wonder what happened. What? Face it. You're no different than me. I want more information about what's going on. Hey, Shinji. Welcome back. We have two weeks until the moon is full again. Try to increase your strength as much as possible before then. Two weeks, huh? I wonder what it'll look like this time. I have to admit, the suspense is killing me. You're starting to sound like Akihiko. Just remember, this is not a joke. Which reminds me, why is he not back yet? He's probably eaten or something. Yeah, we saw him, but, uh, you know, he's out and about right now. All right, let's talk to some people, shall we? I wonder where Akihiko is. If he's going to be late, he should at least have the courtesy to call me. There's a bunch of different shadows, and they all have different arcana. You can tell them apart by looking at their masks. Yeah, yeah, we know. Our persona's abilities are amazing, aren't they? Secret powers that only we have. It's too bad we can't tell anyone about them. Not that anyone would believe us, even if we did tell them. A girl will stand founding motionless in the middle of the street, halting traffic for several minutes. The expressionless girl has since been led away by police. A number of these cases have been cropping up, causing extra problems for the police force. So, uh, yeah, we've got um, more apathy syndrome cases popping up again, which is common. Uh, you can see here's one right now. So let's go ahead and head into the nightclub. Let's talk to uh, this chick. Let's get our fortune read. Shadows within shadows, many shadows crawl amidst the, amidst the immense shadow. Twelve shadows feasting upon the heart of men, monstrous yet dignified. They gather around you, beware. Farewell then, may your future be bright. Um, there's a lot of talk about shadows. Well, normally meeting new friends is something that just happens. In this case, I guess you might rely on fortune telling, but it's not my style. I'd rather look for friends on my own. I don't really have any friends, but I'm trying to make some. So I asked Mama how I could meet more people. Her answer was still pretty abstract, but at least it was an answer. I'll try doing it next time. All right, so fortune within a, her uh, shadows within a fort, <laughs> shadows within a shadow, fortune within a fortune. 
We ran into a bit of a snag again. Some other investors decided to drop out. Since there are fewer investors, each person's profit will be even bigger. Do you mind investing a bit more? Just 10,000 yen more. That should be plenty. Are you in? Say yes, and you're never gonna get your money back. My foolish little apprentice. Have you not yet realized that you are being deceived? Everything I said has clearly been suspicious. Uh, ignorance should be a crime. Sure, you have some positive qualities, but if you remain so naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me and I'll show you how to be a winner. Very well, young lady. If you insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Uh, you can say anything you want here. Um, I'm gonna ask if he's a movie star. Don't you have a television? Are you living in the Stone Ages? How barbaric. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program called Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Allow me to introduce myself. The well-dressed man handed you a business card. It says President and Executive Producer Tanaka. That's right, I'm Tanaka. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I cannot return the 40,000 yen you gave me, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that, it'll be worth a pretty penny. Toodaloo. Well, then. As Tanaka turned and walked away, his fake smile melted into a look of annoyance. But then he sat on the nearby bench and began mumbling to himself. That little brat, doesn't she realize she's in the presence of a star? I should have charged her extra for a private autograph signing. It seems he's mumbling about you. Uh, I'm gonna say I can hear you. Huh? What, what do you want? Quit disturbing me. Shoo! Shoo! D did you overhear me talking to myself? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone he took my money or he called me a little brat. Capiche? Uh, I'm, I'll tell everyone. Very funny. You may be cute, but you're no comedian. President Tanaka's forehead is beating with sweat. You can say anything you want on this one. Don't worry about it. Silly me. I've let you in on my secret, haven't I? Tee hee hee. Don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick my, your shoes clean if you want me to. Uh, I'll keep it a secret. So seriously, you promise? I'll make you swallow a thousand needles if you're lying. A verbal agreement is considered a contract and I'll sue your pants off if you breach ours. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. He seems to have taken an interest in you. You become acquainted with President Tanaka, the executive producer of a TV shopping program. So, um, and I really like who they link him with on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, he is the devil arcana. Social link, yay. Um, you do not, for this particular social link, you do not have to have a matching persona to continue. So don't worry about carrying around a devil persona with you. But to tell you the truth, you sh might shine with a little polishing. I sense that you're something more than your average pretty girl. What you need in this world is brains. Without brains, you can't climb to the top. I usually take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. Uh, he's kind of an asshole. Um, there's really no way around that. Uh, but he is, you do have to spend the 40,000. You can't get it back. Um, and that's just kind of how it goes. Yo, hey, is it just me or has Yucatan been acting weird lately? Uh, you think so too? Oh, you noticed it too? She's been thinking way too hard about Tartarus and stuff. I mean, who cares, right? I think she cares. Anyway, so I'm actually gonna stop here for now. We've got the devil and the hermit stuff taken care of. How much time have I been recording? Um, about 18 minutes now, but we've been, um, we've seen a few cutscenes. We're learning a little bit more about uh, the revenge website. Uh, something's going on between Akihiko and Shinjiro. We're not entirely sure what's going on there. All we know is that Akihiko seems to be trying to bring us, bring him back into Seas. He's been talking about getting four new members, so that means it's the Seas group that we're a part of. And mentions that uh, Shinjiro has actually been a part of that before, like it's changed since he's left. So if he was part of Seas or whatever group it was considered back before we were around, uh, it's possible that Shinjiro is actually a Persona user. So that's some interesting information. Let's talk to Ikari before we quit today. It's still, oh, she's actually still thinking, so. Um, but that's it for this episode. I will see you next time. We still have a lot of uh, social links to go. Um, I don't think we're going to be seeing any cutscenes last time, so we're actually going to just do social links for the most part. And I will see you then.